Some months ago I was commissioned to compose and record some music for a company called Human Video Co. And the human that got in touch with me in regards of this was Matty Hapoya, filmmaker and YouTuber. I've been watching his stuff for many years as I'm a filmmaker myself. And I think he saw uh, one of my videos how I make music, like ambient soundscapes for my films. So uh, we agreed that I did some songs and some different mixes of those songs. And now they are selling them as a package for filmmakers on their uh, website. I will leave a link down below. If you're a filmmaker, I really recommend them, even though I'm a bit biased. And I think maybe you could be interested just by liking music and guitars maybe for meditation or just relaxing. I really like the tunes that I made. And in this video, I want to show you how I made those songs. I don't remember exactly how I played them and the settings that I used. I should have taken some uh, notes uh, when I made it, but I did everything really fast. I think in five days, I did like 10 recordings. I made a setup that I want to show you that is really good for making music like this. And I don't want to talk down people who make ambient uh, music because there's a lot of good stuff out there. But I wanted to make a setup that could help me make like the ambient stuff with a lot of reverb and effects. But I also wanted my, my songs to come through. I don't want to just do some volume swells and that was it. I wanted to have something more behind it, which most people do, but it's also easy to just do a volume swell. So here's the setup. It's uh, two pedal boards. Oops. And I don't necessarily use all of these pedals. This is uh, one that I used a lot. I also used these two quite a lot. I think this was on almost all the time. It's a tape preamp to like color my sound a bit. I used that pink bunny fuzz. I used the drop a lot and the volume pedal a lot. I used this one from Fairfield Circuitry quite a lot. And I did use my drives sometimes. And I did also use these two actually, but I didn't use anything of what's like under there. And everything is hooked up to my camper. And I did use this Ampeg VT40 clean profile that you actually can buy. I will leave a link down below to my different camper profiles that are actually really good. And I did also use the effects on my camper a lot, especially the reverbs. And I did control that on my Mac. Okay, this is the clean tone, which is a tone that you cannot hear in this package at all. Um, I will turn on the reverb, which is fantastic on the camper. I, I really recommend uh, the camper just because of the fantastic stereo reverbs uh, that you can find on this unit. That's the tape preamp added in to add some grit and some more volume. I really like to use the big speed pedal from uh, Game Changer Audio to add in some weird pitch stuff. Sometimes it's not right, but most of the time it makes people go, oh, oh what's happening there?
Digitech Drop, Octave and Ride. And this one is the Fairfield pedal. is coffee on my Mac. Not a whole lot though. And this is the Boss SY200. Uh, I used it maybe a bit less than I thought I would because it sort of like hijacks your sound completely. Depends a bit on how you use it of course. But I use that for the more synth-like sounds and it's fantastic for that. <laughs> Let's add in some reverb again, but a like more traditional one. One thing that I do if I feel that the sound is a bit too clean and sterile, I add in some dirt, either by using a fuzz or an overdrive pedal. So let's try um, the pink bunny first. And some overdrive to make it a bit more subtle. And this is the Bright Horse Clan. I also did use a baritone guitar, I believe, maybe even a bass for something, and a lap steel. Everyone should own a lap steel. Very moody. It's easy to make some moody stuff with this. And I think I used a baritone, but let's try. You get it. I would appreciate if you wanted to buy them. I definitely think you can get something out of them without being a filmmaker. And please let me know if you have any questions about my setup. You can get the camper profiles down below also. Here are some examples of the music that I made. Thank you for watching.